it just where my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. It was, it was pretty good, I, if I had to say. They did a lot of, uh, I feel like, mood theming for it, you know what I mean? With that, like, soft kind of uh, country ish music going with it. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, yeah, it looked interesting. I wanted to go see it in theaters, but it was just one of those ones I didn't get to check out before they closed everything. And, uh, yeah, it's that, oh man, that's part of the topic title too this week is just once again, everything's closed and the comics aren't coming out anymore. The official drop was this last mm -hmm. week, right? Mm -hmm. The the diamond was just like, nope, no more new stuff, basically. It's old. <laughs> yeah, um, I can't. I can't wait to actually check it out to rent it out. So I, I think what do they take like two weeks after they release it to buy them uh, digital? Oh, I don't but, know. So I've just seen it on uh, digital to buy, I, it, but not to rent yet. Right, right. I don't know, especially just because with everything going on, I haven't really been keeping up with all of the like delivery stuff now, like how it's being delivered, like you know, because I know you. That was the other one I put on the title was like the in house streaming or whatever the in-home premieres or whatever because i know mm. didn't you do one of those for yeah i did the uh the hunt which was uh which i heard good things about my my dad good. was thinking about doing it for the invisible man but he didn't like the price tag um i mean they gotta make the, i know i know mean, but and i and i understand why because you can rent that and then they have a given for like two days you can just have well, any many people watch it as you want yeah, yeah. And well, the way I did it is like I uh, I had invited my other cousin. Right. Like, hey, you want to watch it? We'll split it. Down right. There. Right. Like, yeah, that's ten dollars. He's like, he see, wasn't... and that's what I think they're thinking people will do for this, but totally counteracts the whole point of not have. You know what I mean? Of not yeah. having people go. It does. It is a little better, obviously, with yeah. less people. I, you don't have ten I people. I would but. recommend though telling your dad he might want to just push in that 19 dollars yeah <laughs> for the it's good i love i like this well he was it. one of, he was gonna watch the invisible man i think was the one he was looking at yeah invisible man yeah that was that one it, yeah that one because you were telling me it was pretty decent i think it was I, you I or somebody it, it was a good uh, movie i haven't seen a good universal monster movie in a while and, and that one i thought did a, a good job i of, uh, i think it's cool i think it's cool that they're doing it but i think it's really interesting because i think most people are not aware that it's sitting in the same universe as uh king kong and godzilla basically yeah of that universal or no yeah. what was it, the other one too the mummy and i don't know if anybody realizes that like that they were trying to do that dark universe thing a while back was like two years ago they uh yeah ago. no they and they had and they were like we want to get all the the kind of like horror -y story kind of like yeah and but it was dracula was the one supposed to start it i don't know if you remember that one the untold was yeah the, the i it just didn't do well enough though to spark no, the whole series yeah, which so it's like the problem is there's been so many dracula movies mm -hmm. that are also good really mm -hmm. um and, and then, uh, I guess The Mummy with Tom Cruise was the, the actual first movie that was supposed to start it off, but that that did so poorly in the theaters. I didn't even go watch it because the new one, yeah, I right, not yeah, the old I one, like yeah. Tom I, guess, I I, like I heard that it was actually not that bad. I think it was my father who told me, but at the same time, you, you know, it's one they were taking like something that is already associated with Brendan Fraser for, like, a trilogy. Oh, my gosh, Brendan Fraser. That one, that's yes. Favorite. Yeah, that's his, the, like, uh, I mean, I really like Mummy. I think my favorite one from him, for whatever reason, is still Journey to the Center of the Earth. That's I just really, I really like him in that one for some reason. I don't know why. I really liked him, actually, recently in Doom, uh, Doom Patrol. He did a really good job as Machine oh, Man. Oh, yeah, as the Machine Man or whatever. Yeah, that was good. He was he, good. He I did. I'm glad to see him back, actually. I, I missed him. I, I heard he was just having, like, a lot of life stuff, like all of yeah. us. You know what I mean? There world world kicks you in the nads a couple times. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's definitely good to see him. I thought it was cool because that role was mostly vocal. He, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, he couldn't express mm -hmm. himself, so he had to do all of his emotions and, like, acting through his voice. And I feel like... It's not to say he doesn't do that. Like, he's a very vocal, like, emotional guy. But I feel like he also kind of, like, often relies on the 
like the movement and the explosiveness of like what he's doing for instance in the mummy and the thing where it's this physical comedy layered on top of it well um yeah i just i didn't bother with that tom cruise one <laughs> no i haven't seen it either actually i've i haven't seen oh. it so I, i've I want to check it out, but it's just, it's I, on my list. I see it on demand all the time, and I'm like, I could watch it for free, but do I want to spend my time watching that? That or something else, yeah. When there's so much other good stuff. Uh, so You know what I have been watching, though, that you should really watch? I've been watching, um, and I feel bad, I've been kind of bootlegging it, but I just don't want to pay DC to do it. Oh, um, man, no, the I've DC. Been, I've been doing uh, the Joker, or not Joker. Uh, Harley, Harley Quinn, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that was really good. I, oh, my gosh. It's I've, so I'm along the same lines of, like, I really want to go watch it, and I, but I already have. That's how I got do, did Doom Patrol. Is I bootlegged it. And I'm like, man, like I don't want to do bad. steal. I, yeah, like a little, especially during times like this where there's like no other income coming from them, so they need the money from streaming sites. And like, obviously, like if I could afford it, it I would. But they just don't offer as enough on the site, like the through DC yeah, Universe. DC, yes, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Even Marvel Unlimited, which did a really good amount of content, like was not worth keeping it by at the end of the day because one because of staggered releases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there's like three months after new. It's releases, like six so. months unless they change unless they shortened it. Yeah, it's like I think they six. It to three, they that's said, that's a little is, better. That's a little I better, but why it's be so, because they want to sell. Too, they should yeah, just do a month. Right, yeah, they want to sell copies of the yeah, thing, exactly. but realistically, it should be a month or a month and a half. And I'd be yeah, willing to fun. wait a month and a month and a half, but I was not willing to wait. When I had Marvel, it was six months, dude. And they, that's a half a year. It took a half a year. Yeah. And and I remember I had Marvel, right? I had fucking Unlimited, and I was still bootlegging to read the new shit. So, <laughs> yeah, so it was like, what was the point? Like, I was paying for something that I wasn't really getting anything from. And that's, I think, the thing they got to realize is, like, the modern person, especially in a Freedia kind of era like this where everything is accessible, like, mm -hmm. as soon as it's done, whether or not that's right or not, that's that's the world we live in is one where digital media is not protectable. You know what I mean? You cannot protect people from stealing your game or stealing your music or stealing your whatever it may be. Like, once it's out there in the world, people are going to take it. And... Well. And to be fair, property and ownership is a whole concept anyway. <laughs> Let me get started so, with that. Yeah, you've been playing Doom, right? Yes. Yeah, I've been streaming Doom for probably like a week now or so, like okay. on and off. Have you have you beat it already? No, I do probably like an hour or two at a time, and I'm with, doing uh, it. Uh, what difficulty are you nightmare. On? Yeah, I start on the. Oh, you're doing. Nightmare. Yeah, I start on the hardest. I di I didn't do ultra or one extra because then I would never get through it on stream, looking <laughs> basically because I'm not that good. Or it would, I would, but it would take forever to eventually get through it. Yeah, um, I think Nightmare is the fourth option, right? Yeah, and then you have the two modifiers at the okay. end. You have Ultra Nightmare, which is Nightmare, but you only get one life. If you die, that's it. Like, there's no extra lives. There's no uh, anything. That, that, that's, some, that's some crazy shit. It is, but like, <laughs> but like, who is it? Moon Moon was doing a run, and I was laughing because they get so good at doing the speed runs and doing these Ultra Nightmare runs that, like, I think he cleared the first level, the, fir the whole first level in, like, ten minutes. On oh, Nightmare, wow. in Ultra Nightmare. And because, like, my friend is like, he, he, my cousin had played it, and then he told me to play it, so now I'm playing it. Uh, and now he's watching people do speedruns, and he's like, yeah, man, he's already passed where you're at on his speedrun for, like, Ultra Nightmare. And I'm like, I mean, I would expect so. He's a streamer who gets to play FPS games seven days a week, you know, 365. He's probably a little bit better than me. Uh, but on top of that, uh, you know, it's still impressive, obviously, to do those 10 minutes runs and shit. But yeah, uh, I decided to do my Nightmare. To be fair, it's really not that hard so far. Like, it's it's more difficult, obviously. And like, but I like that. Like, I don't want to just run through and just shoot everything one time and it explodes. And like, yeah, no, like yeah, that's I, cool. Uh, but I... I do get, like, I play Gears and everything else the same way. Like, if it has a highest difficulty, I play the highest difficulty I can play on. Basically from the start. And it's just to, one, give myself a challenge and a reason to learn and, like, actually learn to play the game and not just, like, fuck off with my head. <laughs> yeah, it's like, which is cool, which it's so funny because this last week where I've been playing Doom and I've been, like, getting into it, I'm like, 
in my head i'm like man i've been working really hard overtime this week and i really wish i did just have a mindless game where i could just shoot things and not worry about it and they just blow up because because doom on nightmare you actually have to do a little bit of thinking and a little bit of finagling to not just die okay yeah see i played mine on uh the third option i think which i don't know the i exact don't remember name of that yeah. difficulty. it's some weird I don't remember. They um, they change yeah, between generations. Um, and even just playing it on that difficulty yeah, has been pretty hard. Um, I finally, within the two days, though, that I have been playing, I'm on the first boss. The I don't even know the which one. one. The, oh, you haven't even seen the first boss yet? Probably not. What level is he in? That's the... Oh, I can't even remember. It's the one that uh, had the kind of floating uh, roller, and he had the plasma. Nah, I probably haven't, his body. probably haven't gotten there yet. I think I'm only on, like, level three now. Okay, okay. Or no, yeah, no, I, I'm I, on level four now. I just beat level three. Okay, I think that's actually the level... Is it the one on the... Four. Oh, that's probably why my cousin... Because he's been waiting for me to get to four. He says there's a part I'll probably get stuck on, which... It, he, yeah. We don't. We never get stuck on the same parts. Like, all the parts he thinks is going to take me time takes me, like, half the amount of time. Yeah. I don't know. The, the bot... I mean, from, from playing the first day to the second day, you know, everything's been good, smooth. I've died a couple of times out for us. I've had to go do a couple of rounds just a few times and not overdo it. But uh, the boss level, yeah, it's proven to to almost uh, be pretty difficult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll definitely... Times now. I'll have to check it out and see. I'm sure it'll be pretty difficult on Nightmare. I'm not, I'm not super concerned. I don't think I've ever... I think the longest any one room has taken me is about... 35 minutes or 45 minutes uh -huh. on nightmare and well, he downs you so quickly with your shield like but really you gotta fast. you gotta remember that on ultra nightmare everything downs you in like one shot yeah, yeah it's no, it's I... even the little asshole like grunts if they come up and punch you once that's it you're you you've expended your like no death thing <clears throat> where you go yeah. gray or whatever yeah that it's crazy so like i i definitely get that though like i'm just that's why i play on those hardest difficulties though because then the jump from hard things to really hard things is smaller you yeah. know what i mean when you go oh, for those yeah. but i'm i'm looking forward to it like i haven't i don't think i've fought a boss yet because nothing has felt like a boss they just feel like yeah then this will be your first one then yeah it's the one coming up that's um, cool but it's been i like the I like the change in the the second game a lot for sure. They've added a lot more, a uh, little bit, you know, just. I think it's a little more. I think it's a little more doomish. There's a lot of guns. There's a lot of yeah. explosions. And the only one had it, but not to this level where it's just like you really do yeah. like you should be getting a new gun every like level, and you should be getting a new, you know, because I, I think like, like I said, I'm on level four, and I I've got five guns now the super shotgun the rocket launcher the co the heavy cannon plasma rifle and the regular shotgun mm -hmm. that's yeah so that's all i've gotten so far so like i said yeah you're getting pretty close to then probably you're probably on the level with the boss oh i'm pretty sure i am the map there'll be like a yellow area and that's the boss area okay i never look at the map i never look at, I, the, I do, my I'm guy i i am the kind of player i just look i just I naturally so like everyone's like looks for secret. I just found I found pretty much every secret by just wandering around and looking at shit. Yeah, I heard and it's this thing that uh, shows you all this. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean that's cool, but I'm just old school. I like, and that's what I said. My my friends like you should check this. It shows you where this is stuff is. I was like, okay, cool. I looked at. It, I'm like, well, I'm not really good at relating where maps are to like my real in life vision. So I'm just gonna ignore it. And I just wandered around and I immediately found the secret thing in like five seconds. And I even told him I'm like. It was the Slayer Gate key. I'm like, oh, like, you know, they're like, you should find it. I'm like, oh, I usually just stumble upon those things without meaning to. And then I immediately just stumbled upon it trying to find my way out. <laughs> I literally spend longer trying to find, like, the regular paths that are, like, mm -hmm. obvious than I do trying to find the little secret oh, hidden. Little secret. But it's because I'm, like, looking for a little secret hidden shit or I expect mm -hmm. things to be more complicated. So, like, I remember this one. I died, like, twice trying to figure the puzzle out. I had the puzzle right the first time. I was just overthinking <laughs> Yeah, no, there's a couple of times where I've, I've done it and I'm like, yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. I think I'm just thinking too much. Yeah, oh, definitely. Like, oh, it's just right there. I just have to press the... It's kind of weird doing all the, air, like, the... I guess all the jumping and stuff with the Doom character. He feels very clunky, kind of, but... Uh, like, I, I mean, he does. It's whatever. I think that's what the dash is for, though. 
I mean, yeah, no, so that you can just kind of quickly move. Uh, I don't think they had that too much in the first one. Mm, though, oh, the uh, the first one they made from this series? No. In the original Doom, God, no. Yeah, the original, because the original yeah, Doom was a scrolling... Was a little bit of a new, new style that they added in. Oh, it, it's for sure. Of, uh, it's for sure a bit I different, like but it's it. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been enjoying it for sure. It, makes it, it mixes things up a little bit. Not always just shoot, 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 kill, kill, kill. Yeah, and yeah. Kill, 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 kill. Die, 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 die. Um, and then do some jump in, do some secret finding, and then, well, you know, just mixes some things up. That's why I like it. Yeah, I think that was interesting. I, do, I will say that, and I told my cousin that the other day. I'm like... I, lo I like the little puzzles, but the the purpose of them and why I like them and hate them is they pull you out of combat. They're supposed to, especially for when you're doing those harder runs, they pull you out of the flow of combat so that you have to re-back and adjust to the controls again and adjust to the style of play from just kind of wandering around and like using your brain to do puzzles. Yeah. But it's been enjoyable. I've liked it yeah. so far. I'll, uh, I'll have like, to beat this boss again. Uh, probably tonight or maybe i'll just do it tomorrow we'll see. <laughs> that's that's kind of where i'm at with it i was like last night we and that's why i left I was like i was gonna do a long stream last night and i did a decently long one but i ended up getting interrupted because everyone hopped on and they're like well we finally all got it so let's go play gtfo and i'm like cool i guess oh yeah my uh my friend wants to play that if you want to play with us i'm probably gonna buy it yeah but yeah just let me let me know if i'm on i'll play with you guys it's pretty interesting it's definitely uh like 100 percent more of like a strategy yeah no, then uh said it's a pretty hard game and i was like yes I like it, it is actually <laughs> but it's not hard for the reasons you think it's hard like and that's that's the thing with these ones that i that get at me or like this one it is difficult but it's one and partially because of mechanics like it's still a really early-ish game like it's still in not i don't think it's in total uh beta and it's uh it's got some clanky issues for sure um having said that i mean like the concepts are pretty simple and not like super crazy it's a pretty simple simplistic style of gameplay it really is just about like all right you can only it, it's a stealth game more than anything if i had to like say it because like the fighting part is kind of doable but it really is not designed to be that way like, if you're going out there trying to, like, shoot the, the fucking things, you're going to die pretty much every time. Whereas the other way of doing it is, like, good, but it's, it's a bit tedious with the system. So it's cool, though. Like, I really enjoyed it. Like, I want to go play some more. But I don't know if the difficulty is necessarily from game design or from game design it's a weird thing to do but like technical game design or like theoretical game design i'm not sure which is the reason it's difficult yet i'm gonna have to play some more and see because like you know how and i'm trying to think of like certain games but like the old resident evils were really that way like sometimes they were really difficult but that sometimes they were really difficult because the camera would switch to dumbass angles or something wouldn't like spawn in correctly or you'd have some error in the code that would just kind of fuck you over and so like mm -hmm. that game was hard but not because the game was theoretically hard it was because the system was ass but gta gtfo is not like like that bad i'm just saying i'm not sure which part the difficulty totally stems from yet because mm. how many people are you playing with when you go in three i think oh yeah my friend said that yeah it's they were wanting four because they're like you do like, definitely want at least four from what i was seeing although like the four like i said the combat's just unrealistic like the, the, the whole point of the game is not to fight these things it's to like walk up and bash them when they're sleeping it's like the whole thing which is cool i mean i've done stealth games with hybrid things like that that's all deus ex machina was you know what i mean but uh the because I'm trying to think of the different ones we did. The other thing is obviously, like... So, like, one of the things I think that makes it unrealistic... That makes it difficult that is not a gameplay thing is you have to use, like, a terminal to, like, look for shit in the map. Mm -hmm. Like, health kits and keys and all kinds of different crap. And there's, like, a coding language specific to the game that you have to use on the terminal to do that shit. Okay. But it's not like it teaches you, as far as I know, like, right off. You yeah. kind of just kind of, like, pick it up or get it online, which is kind uh -huh. of... 
kind of like Destiny, but in that sense, because yeah. there's rounds in the raid where the mechanics aren't really told to. Right, but this one, there's, like, no way to out. learn it either. There's, like, a whole language code to okay. like type into the computer and if you don't get it right it's just like errors and you don't get the code uh -huh. it's not like oh i need to figure out that once i drop this block or once i shoot this thing something pops up it, it's not like that at all it's oh, like a computer but you don't yeah. get the codex to learn how to put information yeah. into it i wonder how many people have figured it out then already oh huh. there's there's it's supposedly just posted or listed somewhere but having something like that where I'm, like, gonna have to look off-screen in-game to, like, go look for this and shit is mm -hmm. definitely something that's not on my list of, like, high-level gaming shit. Like I so said, that's something where the mechanic of the game is made... Or the, the mechanic of the game is making it difficult, not the theoretical part of, like, all right, actually trying to sneak up on this thing is difficult. Mm -hmm. which, which it is, kind of. Like, took us... I think we played for, like, an hour and a half and almost finished a mission for three people but once again like some of it's like okay well mechanical where is this ping coming from because you're trying to ping these keys and you're supposed to be able to hear it in your headset mm -hmm. and use like stereo to find it you, you can't even hear it unless you're right next to the thing so you mm -hmm. can't actually use it to ping it to find anything hmm. at least as far as i could tell granted only played a couple times i'm sure someone who's more familiar with it would do would be able to do more and better mm -hmm. Yeah. But because it's such an unforgiving game mechanic, there's no room to, like, learn that shit. Mm -hmm. And with no actual, like, direction or, like, instructions, it becomes, like, a bother as opposed to, like, a learning challenge. Mm -hmm. Having said that, like, because my friend who, who was, or my cousin who was the one who had suggested it was doing all that shit, I didn't have to do it, so I enjoyed myself. But I know if I had to do that shit myself and look up the keys and, like, do the beeping, I would have been just annoyed. Like, I would not have been having fun at that point. It would have pulled me out of the experience of the game, I think. Okay. But well, that might just be a personal your, thing. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, was your cousin enjoying it, though, when he was doing all that? Uh, he actually seemed pretty annoyed when he was doing that shit. Like, when we were actually sneaking around and killing shit, everything's fine. Yeah. But when we're, like... It's like, well, where's the beep? Well, can you hear the beep? Because I, I mean, I have the beep here, but it doesn't help me from here. So you have to hear the beep. Like, yeah, so that's, the, you know, once you have like 10 or 20 minutes of that, it becomes a little bit like yeah, annoying as opposed. Like I said, I'm sure. I I think it's still worth it. I mean, it looks good and they're still, the more important thing is they're still working on it. He says they like change shit every couple weeks. Yeah, they they change the uh, the maze every week. It's not you're not gonna go in every week. Although the same, I uh, will same round. I will say though, based on the style of that, like it's still not got that high level of playability just based on the simplicity of it so far. Mm -hmm. There's got to be like some progression or some adaption. I'm thinking as time goes, and maybe they have it, and I just have to get farther. Obviously, yeah. But but it's one of those things, and obviously not. All games are meant to do that anyway to have a high level of like replayability some games really are just like one and dones for example in my opinion with yeah with very little exception uh, shadow of colossus is like a one and done you don't go back and play the game again you just wander the world after you've killed everything yeah. i've always wanted to play that one too i've heard I've really my uh it was on uh either playstation, PlayStation yeah, yeah my my there. brother had just like picked it up to play it the other day i was thinking of doing it as well my yeah, problem shit. is <sighs> one of the, it was one of those game of the years when it first came it, out i mean it, it is but the reason it was game of the year when it came out was because it had these like unique mechanics and amazing yeah. like intertwined yeah. story with like a thing those mechanics were unique and like new back yeah. when shadow of the mechanic like a bunch yeah. of games have had those mechanics but, uh, since then copying just the story, i think the story is good i think i'd play it for the art honestly on the remaster the world's yeah. supposed to be like an amazing just like walk because that's what they say is like the the titans and stuff are fun and the lore is really cool but the lore is really bare bones honestly it and it ties into eco or whatever mm -hmm. but it's really bare bones like they don't really say much or do much that like you can actually tangibly hear or see it's a lot of like exposition Mm -hmm. and the the monsters while cool there's only so many of them and they say that most of your time is spent running through the world getting to the monsters kind of like red dead mm -hmm. is like you spend more time riding around on your horse than actually doing stuff 
Mm-hmm. And so because of that, the lot of the game's like appeal is in the like majestic, like cinematic scenery and beauty and like the amazing scale and scope of the world, stuff like that. Which I think is cool. I mean, they've done a lot of... I don't know if you've seen those videos where they, like, go off screen and shit or whatever. Or, like, out of bounds. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those ones, yeah. The uh, Skyrim... Or not Skyrim. Uh, Shadow of Colossus was one of the, like, first games people really did that. Like, back when they started doing those in-game depth things. Because there were those rumors about the extra Colossus being hidden. And there was actually a ton of, like, leftover code just outside of the bounds is he hmm. ton of codes left over outside of the bounds uh inside the game code still especially on like demo versions and stuff where you could just find stuff that was meant to be and then wasn't actually released hmm. okay well, well yeah well, I, I wanted to check it out and i, I think it, it's like still it on ps plus so oh I, yeah i might download it i still the... i still really want to i just feel like it's one of those ones where like the time investment in it I might not have right now, especially I still got to do Doom, got to do GTFO, got to do, got to do a yeah. billion other games, and I'm like, I really want to play Shadow Colossus, but that's like a a day where I like get to stream and do the whole game in one day when I have a day mm-hmm. off. Well, I, uh, yeah, I still so yeah, I probably just play Doom too, and then there was a couple games I wanted to buy for because the Nintendo Direct came out a I, couple days I, ago. I did see that. Well, what was they, coming uh, out on it? Eh, just had a couple like indie games and just a couple ports coming over uh what was one of them um uh, i can't Ooh. remember some of the ports <laughs> coming over um that's okay it happens oh bioshock was one of them oh, okay bioshock i did collection. hear they were going to do the whole collection for bioshock i did yeah, hear so that got that coming over i've been hearing rumors too that that bioshock scene is supposed to be coming back um, um i mean I they're still popular down. That there's, yeah. I mean, anyone could pick up the property, s- the intellectual property, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a it was a very popular game, awesome story. Um, just whoever picks it up, they kind of, you know, they have some shoes to fill. Yeah, some shoes to fill. Some high shoes to fill. Yeah. Um, having uh, having said that, we're kind of approaching the end of our time because yeah. we got to do a short one today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, was there anything that you had to read? Bit, I mean, that was left to catch up. I, yeah, I know. There's so much. Uh, no, I've been. I mean, I've been. I had already been somewhat caught up on stuff because I've been finally finding time. Um, and this week there wasn't anything really big. I've been really focused on. Uh, just the news and everything going on crazy in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the shutdowns, the comic book shutdown, obviously, with nothing new coming out. The Oh man, the the movies come into the home. I mean, a lot. It's funny. Our last two or three weeks. That's all we can really talk about. That's all anyone really talks about. But it's all we can talk about because the world is just fucking focused on it, obviously, yeah. and having to go through it. And hopefully, we'll you know abide to our rules and be done with it as soon as possible. But uh, that only works when everybody does what they're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. I saw one meme that was like the best description of it is like this is like the worst group project ever. We are all being graded together, guys. <laughs> well, all right. Then, well, other than that, that's yeah, pretty much all I had to say then too. Just I have to catch up on all the readings. Oh. You have a stack of books. Right oh, there man. Well, I guess that's the only good thing about this shutdown is that yeah. there will be stacks of that, and then when we come back, there should be plenty of material ready to come out you know what i mean i mean yeah, i hope I, the writers don't just sit on their laurels you know and no, a lot of the creators said that they're still you know creating and they're still doing what they're supposed to be doing they um they feel like you know if anything it, it will eventually come back to normal um dc has been trying to work with uh diamond now to do uh or no i think they've been working with the sorry the retailers to or actually no it was diamond they were working with Diamond to kind of give them, like, lead way on some of the books they have to, you know, pay and everything. Um, so hopefully that will give Diamond lead way to the retailers to kind of, you know, have to not pay right up front, too. Because that's the thing when they pre-order books, when uh, they have to pay up front. Right. Um, so, you know, that's a lot of money they have to put in uh, up front and everything. So it, they we're hoping a lot of... A lot of publishers are coming out trying to help out. I know uh, Marvel.
people said they were doing something I told you last week, but DC finally was the one that people were kind of waiting for, and that was kind of what they were saying. Yeah. Like returnable, uh, returnable comics all the way up to June, I think. Which is interesting. I mean, and it's good. It's necessary, obviously, for this kind of... And- it's funny though. Everything though, I think. No, it it's so much of the stock that was be returned. Right, so right, and, like, and I mean, terrible. which is better than nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's so funny to hear com- the comic industry and private businesses doing stuff like that when we're barely getting our country to do the same. But at least people are looking out for each other in the industry. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's uh, it says a lot about you know. The people and the industry itself that we, you know, when times get hard for comic people, we stick together. Mm-hmm. And then just the other indie publishers, I wanted to name out like TKO uh, Presents. Um, they're actually pretty cool when you check out their different kind of style of uh, comics books. They, um, instead of giving you just one issue a month or whatever, you can actually pick up all six of the issues at once. Hmm. And you buy like this, it's like a trade paperback book kind of thing almost, but it, they're all single issues. And they send you, like, a nice little box. You open up the box, and it has all your, like, five comics in there mm. and stuff. Um, and it's just one complete story that they uh, they sell. But uh, I guess they said that if you buy from their website, they said, and put in, like, a special note saying who your comic star is that you normally go to, they're going to give 50% of that sell um, to them. Oh, that's cool. Um, so basically as much as what they would have sold it for in their store. Right. Um, they're getting that, that income for free. But, uh, and then another one was Black Mask, who was doing the same thing, where they, uh, can you buy from our store, let us know what store you want us to pitch into, we'll put in that money towards them as well. So that was another one as well. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy to see that there's, yeah, even the indie publishers are trying to do something as well. Definitely. And it's it's obviously, like, both an investment on both sides, you know what I mean? If, if, the, pub, if the retailers aren't open, the publishers can't sell, if the pub, you know? So it's, yeah. it's a give-and-take relationship, and it's good to see them doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, besides that, I think we've covered pretty much yeah. everything. Pretty much it, yeah. Uh, thanks for coming in on this short one. Yeah, uh, yeah, no you know, uh, we'll be hopefully back next week, and who knows when this will all be blown over. I mean, the the order is supposed to be done in, what, two or three weeks? Something like that? Yeah, on the 17th. Oh, do they ext- go on, Well, the 17th, the kids can go back. Um, so far that's that's depending right because originally it was the 10th yeah wasn't it yeah it was the 10th yeah it was the and they pushed it and back then, yeah um, the governor came in and said no we got to push it to the 17th now. i think it's probably going to get pushed back again honestly but yeah we'll and see. if it gets yeah. pushed back too much more than that i mean they might just cancel the year out man yeah, or move it point, to the well, summer what yeah been doing now my uh, my school was going to do um online learning on the which 10th, i think which is seventh. Which is cool for people with access to online learning, but... Well, and then my school was doing a good thing, too. They were um, saying, hey... Because they were doing a survey for my school, saying, hey, who doesn't have internet? Who doesn't have a computer? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and they were giving... Uh, distributing uh, Chromebooks to everyone. Okay. So, yeah, they were they were doing their best they could, yeah, to... If, yeah, if you can't do online learning, that they were going to give you the materials you needed. And then uh, I know Comcast Essentials is another thing you can hop on to for people who have low income and can get internet for free, basically. Um, but, so, we'll, we'll see how this all goes with the online learning. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely see. I mean, that's a cool thing that they're doing that. I'm glad that they're trying to find a way around it because it's essential. But, yeah, got to... Definitely, I think it's funny to see all the things that can be done from home now that they have to be done from home. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe this will change the workforce in a lot of places. Maybe a lot of people will be like, hey, we really probably don't need like 50% of the workforce here in the office. <laughs> Just like half these motherfuckers don't need to be here. Yeah, I, who knows? Because I yep. mean, all this is going to change a lot, a lot of things. Oh, for I sure. Think, I mean, so. the, future, the future is definitely going to be different with this and... You know, hopefully for the better, but we'll yeah, just have to. We'll just have hopefully to see. A lot of people's eyes to a lot of things. But re- <laughs> but regardless of what happens, even if the apocalypse comes and we have to hijack a U.S. satellite, comic convos. Like Mad Max. Yep. Looking like Mad Max for, for, uh, Road Warriors. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Right. Even even if it comes to that, we'll still be bringing weekly comic convos podcasts, even if it's to a local rock near you. Um. But yeah, I think we'll uh, end it off yeah, there that's today. But, all right, then. Well, sounds good. Have a good one, then, everyone. 
just swear my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, just a 